Today, we are doing an awesome sci-fi movie. And in this movie, and their world, people are gifted with a perfect memory of all of their past lives. They call themselves Infinite. Among the Infinite, two groups have competed for power, and the race is on for its control. So sit back, relax, and make sure to subscribe to watch more of our recaps. In 1985 Mexico City, Treadway is trying to escape the police. His associates, Abel and Leona, are following him and talking about the egg which Treadway stole from Bathurst. While driving on a highway, Treadway encounters a roadblock made by the police. He tells Abel, if he fails his mission, to look inside of him. And then he drives into an unfinished bridge and jumps from his car mid-air onto a crane 150 feet away. Abel and Leona were waiting for him under the bridge and they're very relieved that he made it. But just then, a big truck crashes into them, flipping their car. The man then goes out and blows up their car, killing them both. Treadway watches as his friends die. So all this happened in 1985 in Mexico, and now it's present day 2020 in New York City. And Evan wakes up from a nightmare. His dreams have become very vivid, almost as if they were memories. Evan suffers from schizophrenia, needing him to take multiple medications a day. He also can't get a formal job because of his previous violent behavior and because he was institutionalized. And due to all of these factors, he needs to work for really sketchy people to just afford his meds. Evan forges a Japanese katana even though he never learned how to do it. He takes the katana to a local drug dealer to exchange it for his meds. The drug dealer is impressed with the katana but gives him a lower amount of the pills than they agreed upon. And then he tells one of the girls that were around to stretch out her hands because he wanted to try the katana on her? He's a drug lord, he's coked out, of course he thinks that's a good idea, come on guys. Evan, angry over the fact that he didn't get the appropriate amount of pills that he was promised, and also seeing what the guy is going to do with the katana, beats up the drug dealer's guards and then he lets the woman escape, then takes his katana back and runs away. The drug dealer runs after him trying to kill him, but Evan escapes him easily, but is later arrested by the police. He is put in the investigation room, a man enters and introduces himself as Bathurst, and claims that he's met him in the second Punic War, which was quite a long time ago, and also tells him that they've known each other for centuries. Bathurst tells Evan that the injuries he had as a teenager are blocking his past life memories. And Evan, of course, thinks that Bathurst is just some psycho doctor. And Bathurst, then to prove his point, takes out five materials made by Evan in his previous life. He then takes out a gun and puts a bullet inside and tells Evan that he needs to remember, otherwise he's gonna shoot him. After a few scares, Evan starts remembering some stuff from his past life, but nothing is really that clear. All of a sudden, Nora drives into the investigation room, she breaks his cuffs and takes Evan to her car. She then proceeds to drive through the police station while being chased by Bathurst. And after an epic car chase through the city, Nora and Evan manage to escape Bathurst. They arrive in a private airport, and Evan is still confused as to what's happening. Nora explains that Evan is not crazy, and that the things that he remembers and knows how to do are skills that have been transferred to him from previous lives. She further explains that his dreams and visions are memories and not really hallucinations. She tells him that the answers he's been looking for his entire life can be answered if he chooses to come with her. Evan agrees to her terms and they board a plane. While on their way, Nora informs him more about the infinites, which are only 500 throughout the world. And she also tells him more about the war that's been happening between the two fractions. And here, Evan learns that he's been a member of the Believers and that he's known as Heinrich Treadway. They reach the hub, the headquarters of the Believers, and Nora takes him in his room. She shows him a picture of him from a previous life, where she is Leona with her boyfriend Abel and Evan as Treadway. Basically, he's the guy that we saw in Mexico on the opening scene. He's this guy. Evan is introduced to Garrick, head of technology and research, and they take him to the virtual sandbox, some kind of holographic history room. Evan is told to stand in the middle where he sees the past lives of Bathurst. 
Garrick explains Treadway and Bathurst were close friends for centuries, but 300 years ago, Bathurst lost fate, and he'd been looking for a way to stop the reincarnation process. So, in his past life, Bathurst made the egg, a bomb-like biological weapon designed to kill every living thing on Earth. Why does he even want to kill the animals as well, you may ask? Because if there's nothing left alive, there's nothing left to reincarnate too. He figured if he just killed all the humans, he'd just be, you know, born like a gazelle or something. Yeah. This so-called egg attacks the DNA, disintegrating every life it touches, passing through one to another. And every time it kills, it accelerates the process of killing, and in a very short time, everybody who's alive is gonna be dead. Nora explains in the last life, Treadway raided Bathurst's lab, stole the egg, killed his scientists and engineers, leaving Bathurst with no way to recreate it. Treadway then died shortly after taking the whereabouts of the egg with him. Meanwhile, back in New York, Bathurst finds Porter, an infinite working for Nora. He tortures him into giving up where Nora is hiding and then kills him. In the hub, Garrick takes Evan to the storage room where they store the previous dead bodies of themselves. Evan is creeped out, but Nora explains Treadway believed that humans are capable of so much more than they realize and that by studying the bodies of infinites, they may be able to discover more. Garrick further explains Treadway was able to manipulate the energy of the world around him, and he had skills that were unimaginable to humans. These abilities are very deep below the conscious level, and it's very hard to tap into them. I'm guessing that's how he made that jump in Mexico in the 1980s. Yeah. Evan then goes to training and tries to bring back his abilities. While training, he remembers some part of the fight he had with Bathurst in his past life, but still can't remember everything fully. Evan goes to the weapons room where Kovic is reverse engineering Bathurst's gun. Apparently, the gun's name is the Dethroner. Kovic explains that the Dethroner bullets extract the consciousness from the infant body and stores it in a computer chip. And this stops the reincarnation process. Bathurst used this weapon to kill more than 200 infinites. He then stores their chip in his lair. Evan then goes to Nora's room. She invites him to look around, and he sees pictures of her past self. He asks her about the picture with Abel, and she tells him that they've loved each other in multiple lives, and every time they get reincarnated, they meet up in the same place they call the beginning. Nora goes on to explain that most infinites reawaken when they are young and fully remember about their past life, once they hit puberty. And this is pretty much the same time where Evan was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Evan asks where Abel is now, and Nora reveals that he's been dethroned in their past life. Now I get why they call it the dethroner, ooh. Evan goes back to his memory training to remember where he hid the egg. He starts remembering about the night of Mexico. He remembers fighting with Bathurst on the crane, but he struggles to regain Treadway's memories. The memory machine at the hub is not really working, but Garrett tells them that the artisan, another infinite, has a machine that could restore Evan's memories. And Evan and Nora leave to find artisan. Back in New York, Bathurst figures out that Evan should get his memory back by now, and he gathers his army and prepares to raid the hub the next morning. And as planned, the next day, Bathurst raids the hub, killing most of the infinites and taking some hostage. He finds Garrick, and it's revealed that they used to be lovers in multiple past lives. They argue about morals, then Bathurst threatens to dethrone her disciples, and forces her to give up the location of Evan. Nora and Evan find Artisan in the back of a casino. Artisan works on human brains to better understand life. He's still upset that Treadway had killed him in his past life, and he kind of refuses to help. But Nora convinces him to help them recover Evan's memories since he's the only one that can stop Bathurst. Artisan agrees to help, and Evan is put in the memory machine. This machine enhances the feeling you get when you're about to die. And you know how they say your life flashes before your eyes just before you die? Yeah, apparently if you're an infinite, all your lives flash before your eyes just before you die. The machine is also filled with water to achieve that sweet close to death experience, but it has a risk of actually killing Evan. Bathurst has also arrived at the casino and is watching them through the security cameras. Artisan starts the machine and Evan starts remembering his past life, but he's also drowning in the process. And as this was going on, he hears somebody say stop 
and then Nora tells Artisan to stop the machine, and they take out Evan because they didn't want him to die. Evan was not breathing, and Nora runs to him and tries to resuscitate him, but Evan doesn't really respond. And here we see Evan remembering more and more about his past life, and suddenly he comes back to life. He tells them that he remembers that he was Treadway. Kovic asks him where the egg is, and Evan, or should I say Treadway, reveals the egg is hidden in his last body. Remember here when he said to Abel to look inside himself? Yeah, I was confused by that too. Apparently, that's what that meant. At this point, Bathurst, who was watching the whole thing, sent his goons to kill them before they leave. Evan gets shot in his gut, but him, Artisan, and Nora manage to escape, while Kovic manages to hold off Bathurst's army, and eventually he is dethroned by Bathurst. And Bathurst at this point knows where the egg is hidden, so his team finds the body first. He takes out the egg from his body, and then they put the egg with a bomb and load it on a plane. Evan wakes up at a hideout, and he's been hurt from the shot and has been unconscious for some time. He finds Artisan with him, and he asks him where Nora is, and Artisan tells him that she's left to stop Bathurst alone. Nora was apparently outside Bathurst's compound with a sniper. She takes her first shot but misses him, and then Bathurst sends drones and his goons to kill her. Nora manages to dodge the drones and kill some of the guys, but she gets pretty overwhelmed. And Evan and Artisan come to the rescue, and Artisan blows up the drones and Evan picks up Nora and they drive to the compound. When they reach the compound, they are met with Bathurst's goons, and Nora is shot, but Evan manages to take out the goons. Nora tells Evan that she's gonna try to free all the dethroned people, cause they're all stored in a chip, and she begs him to stop Bathurst before he kills every living creature in the planet. At this point, Bathurst's plane was taking off, and Evan takes a bike and follows the plane, then jumps off of a cliff, gets on the plane, piercing his katana to the plane's wing, and crashing his bike into one of the plane's turbines in the process. Bathurst then flips the plane to throw off Evan, but he remembers one of his powers and he stands up on the flying plane, resisting the wind with his powers. Evan then cuts the top of the plane with his katana and enters the plane. He finds the bomb, but before he could defuse it, he's shot in the back of the head by Bathurst. Bathurst then goes to the bomb to check it out, and Evan stands up behind him, revealing that the bullet actually hit a steel plate in the back of his head. They start fighting, and Evan blocks his bullets with his katana. Bathurst then decides to drop the bomb mid-air, and Evan jumps after it. Then Bathurst jumps after Evan. They end up fighting mid-air, and Evan manages to take his gun and dethrone Bathurst. After the dethroning, Evan manages to defuse the bomb mid-air, and he falls into the ocean drowning and finally dying himself. In the compound, a badly hurt Nora and Artisan kill the rest of the goons and find the room where Bathurst stored all the dethroned people. They plant explosives on the chips, and Nora tells Artisan to leave, and she detonates the bomb, freeing the infinites but killing herself in the process because she wants to be reincarnated with her lover Abel, and she wants to be the same age as him. And years later, we finally see Nora and Abel meeting up at the beginning. Treadway has also been reborn in Jakarta, Indonesia, and he's become a prodigy sword fighter. An artisan, who didn't die but is a lot older now, visits Treadway and gives him a katana. And Treadway asks him what took him so long, revealing that he's regained his full memory. And that is how this awesome movie comes to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed our recaps, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and most of all, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next recap, love you all, bye.